Last time we talked about the autofocus system on the EOS R5C, and we looked at the menus and settings that applied to it and focusing in general. However, that is not the entire story, as the R5C has several button functions that deal with the focusing and focusing autofocus system as well. Now, most of these are just shortcuts to directly activate an associated menu setting. However, some aren't, and those that aren't provide important functionality that isn't directly controllable any other way. So this time around, we are going to focus on the physical UI and the button functions that affect focusing and the autofocus system on the R5C. Now, aside from the focus ring, which we did talk about in the previous video, there are four physical controls that are set up by default to do something with the focus system. These are, of course, the autofocus manual focus switch, button one, or the AF on button, button six, or the AF lock button, and if your lens has one, the lens function button. However, beyond the default buttons, any of the camera's programmable buttons, all 13 of them, can be set up to run one of the 18 focus-related button functions that are available. So let's take a quick look at the four buttons that are set up by default to control focusing on the camera and what they do. Now, of course, there is always the autofocus manual focus switch found on most autofocus lenses. This is a master control over the camera's AF system, and when this is set to autofocus, the camera will enable all of the AF system to do its thing and potentially adjust how stuff is operating. For example, not allowing you to turn the focus ring if that setting is set. Now, of course, setting the lens to the manual focus position will completely disable the AF system and cause the camera to fully allow you to use the lens or only allow you to use the ring on, focus ring on the lens to control it. The camera, however, will still use the focusing or autofocus capabilities of the dual pixel sensor to measure focus information for the camera focusing aids like the focus guide and focus peaking. The next is button number one, or the AF on button. By default, this is programmed to activate the autofocus system, overriding any other factors that may have caused the autofocus operation to be temporarily paused or halted. That said, at least on my testing, the autofocus on button does not use the same settings as AF speed like the continuous AF mode does. Now, this is something to be aware of, as the autofocus on button is effectively a focus here now button when held down, and it does not focus either as slow as you may have set your continuous AF to operate, or as fast as the camera would if you were in photo mode. Now, the final button on the back is button number six, or the autofocus lock button. And this button functionally pauses or disables the autofocus system, and in many ways operates similarly to putting the camera into manual focus mode using the switch on the lens. That said, one noticeable difference between the two is that when the lens is not set to allow full-time manual focusing during autofocus, the focus ring will main remain disabled when the AF system is locked, but not when the lens is set to manual focus by the switch. Now, personally, I prefer using this to disable the autofocus system when I need to instead of using the autofocus manual focus switch on my lenses. This way, the camera will automatically go back into autofocus mode when I power cycle it and I don't accidentally forget that, hey, I left my camera in manual focus mode and next time when I'm in a rush to shoot something, I end up having a problem or screwing up focus. The last of the physical controls is the lens function button. Now, this is the button that is found on some of Canon's lenses. For example, the RF 35mm f1.4 L VCF, the RF 24-105mm f2.8 L IS USM, and of course, basically all of Canon's Super Telephoto Prime lenses, at least to name a few. Now, unfortunately, on the R5C, this button is not customizable. And I'm also not 100% certain on the exact default functionality either, as unfortunately, I don't own a lens that actually has one. Now, based on the research that I have done, this button switches the camera into manual focus. 
And I should put that in quotes, manual focus, because I'm unsure whether this means that the camera is being set into manual focus mode in the sense that you switch the AF MF switch into the MF position, or if it's putting the camera into manual focus by doing the autofocus lock function the same as the AF lock button. Now, while that distinction isn't all that important most of the time, there are some situations where locking the AF system and switching into manual focus will result in the camera operating differently. Now that said, any of the 13 programmable buttons on the R5C can be programmed to perform any of 18 functions related directly to focusing. We've already talked about two of those, one shot AF, the default for the AF on button, and AF lock, the default for the AF lock button. But what about the other 16? After one shot AF and AF lock, the next function in the A list is the AF lock while pressed. Now this does the same thing as the AF lock function, but only while the button is held down instead of acting as a toggle as the normal AF lock does. Now this can be useful over the standard version if you know that you'll only need to lock the AF for a short while and you know that you'll have the fingers free to press and hold this button while doing whatever else you need to do when the AF system needs to be locked. Next on the list is AF frame, and this is again a direct button activated version of the AF frame menu entry, which we talked about in the last video. Pressing the button that's programmed for this will cause the AF frame to cycle between small, large, and when applicable, whole area. Moving down the list again, we come to the focus mode, and like AF frame, this is also a direct button function that uh, triggers the focus mode menu item directly. Though I should note, like the menu item, a button program for this will only work when an RF or RFS lens without a physical AF or MF switch is attached to the camera. Whenever a lens has that physical AF MF switch, a button set to this function will do nothing. Next we have face AF, and a button program to this will perform the same function as the face AF menu setting. That is, it will toggle the camera between face priority and face only detection modes. That brings me to the face detection and tracking button function. The next on the list, and this is also a direct button equivalent to the menu setting, so pressing, uh, or with the same name. Pressing this will toggle face detection and tracking on and off, the same as doing so through the menu does. Now along the same lines, the next button function is eye detection. And like the face detection and tracking function, this directly toggles eye detection on or off without having to go in through the menus. Now I would note, in my experience, eye tracking on the R5C can be a bit hit or miss, especially if the head and eye aren't fairly large in the frame. As a result, this may actually be a useful function if you are considering using eye tracking in your work, as it provides an easy way to get the camera back into face tracking in situations where the eye tracking proves too unstable to be useful for you. Now next is a big one, and it's simply titled tracking. Now we'll talk about this more in the next video because this is how you get the R5C to track arbitrary objects in the frame instead of just faces or heads. On my camera, I've actually programmed button number five, which is the auto iris button, to perform this function instead, as I don't actually use the auto iris feature, but arbitrarily tracking, or tracking arbitrary objects is definitely something I use. Now that said, the final nine settings we'll cover here aren't related to autofocus, but manual focusing. And these are focus guide, focus peaking, and the various display outputs for magnification on the different displays. Now, to start with the focus guide function, if you have a button assigned to this, then pressing it will cause the camera to toggle the focus guide on or off when the guide can otherwise be displayed. That is when the camera is in manual focus mode or the autofocus system is locked. It won't help you if you're in autofocus and the camera is autofocusing. The next four settings in the list control the activation of focus peaking on the various displays. So the LCD, the EVF, or the HDMI output, or for all of them simultaneously. 
And following that, there are four options for magnification as well. One for each of the displays as, one, as well as one to turn magnification on for everything. Now, so far we've covered all of the menus and button settings that exist on the camera, at least where they are and what they do. And that means we can now start getting into the details of how to get the autofocus system to work for us to the greatest extent that we can. Now, if you found this useful or at least interesting, let me know by hitting that like button. If this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Finally, if you'd like to help support this channel, you can help us directly by linking and sharing or liking and sharing this video. You can also support us directly by hitting that thanks button or buying yourself something you've always wanted from an affiliate link in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.